general ways to classify triangles. You can classify them by their sides, or you can classify them by their angles. Um, either way, all triangles have 180 degrees, and all triangles have three sides. Now, when you're classifying triangles by their angles, you need to recognize that actually you really only classify the triangle by one particular angle. In any triangle, two of the angles are always going to be less than 90 degrees. So two of the sides or two of the angles will be less than or will be acute angles because they're less than 90 degrees. They're called acute angles. Um, the third angle is the angle that matters. So when you're classifying triangles by angle, you look at that other angle that's not necessarily one of the two acute ones and we deal with that particular angle to describe the triangle itself. A right triangle, a right triangle is a triangle that has one right angle. So that that third angle, if you will, happens to be a 90 degree angle exactly. So a right triangle can be of any shape. I mean it can be, you know, an, a right isosceles triangle like this one. It can be sort of long and low like this one stretches way out as long as there is one 90 degree angle it's a right triangle it could be this one tilted on its side so it's tall and narrow it really doesn't matter as long as there's one 90 degree angle it's a right triangle now an obtuse triangle an obtuse triangle is a triangle where that that sort of that third side is greater than 90 degrees now an obtuse triangle will always have two very small acute angles, smaller and smaller depending on um, how obtuse your other angle is, but your your one angle that's opposite the longest side will be greater than 90 degrees and that's what makes it an obtuse triangle. Any As long as it has one angle that's greater than 90 degrees. Yeah? And then an acute triangle of course is the opposite. An acute triangle is obviously there are there are still the two angles that are already acute, like we talked about before, but with an acute triangle, all three angles are less than 90 degrees. So maybe this one's like you know 75, and the other two add up to 125 or something. But all three angles need to be less than 90 degrees, or in other words, all three angles are acute if it's an acute triangle. An equiangular triangle is there's only one. It's a triangle that has three congruent angles, but in order for a triangle to have three congruent angles, you have to divide 180, which is the total number of degrees, by three, so that they're all the same, and you get 60 degrees. So the equiangular triangle is a triangle that has three 60 degree angles. 60, 60, 60. And that triangle is called an equiangular triangle. Now if you're classifying triangles by their sides, where am I? Ah, there we go. Classifying triangles by their sides, then we can take a look at um, the comparison of the sides to each other. A scalene triangle is sort of the weird one. A scalene triangle has three different lengths of sides. All three sides are different. So you have maybe, you know, you have a shortest side and you have a, a middle length side and then you have a long side. So if it's a scaling triangle then you have three different lengths of sides. An isosceles triangle is a triangle where two sides are the same and the other side may or may not be the same but at least two sides are the same. So if you have two sides that are this measurement A and another one that's measurement B um, an isosceles triangle actually can be the same as the equiangular triangle where all three sides are the same. Um, but generally speaking, when we see a triangle where all three sides are the same, we refer to it as an equilateral triangle. Now, lateral refers to length the same way angular refers to angle. So an equi or equal lateral, equal length triangle is a triangle that has all three sides are the same length just the way the equiangular triangle is one that had all three angles the same.